I think, uh, you know, no, I think that we hardly have an inkling as to the real nature of the world and the real history of life on this planet. And, you know, we don't know uh, how narrowly channeled the manifestation of organic intelligence is. Does it always have to be in a body? Does it always have to be in a body that stands upright with binocular vision? I think the real task with dealing with extraterrestrials is to know when you've got one. It's completely silly to search the galaxy with radio telescopes for uh, a radio civilization. I mean, to my mind, that is as chuckle-headed as deciding you're going to search the galaxy for a decent Italian restaurant. I mean, it, it, it doesn't work like that. Well, then, if you look at the mushroom, it's a curious combination of artifact and entity. It looks sort of manufactured. There's very little fat on that system. Uh, the other thing is then the spore looks perfectly designed to sustain itself in outer space. If you want to store spores for longevity, you create conditions as close to the conditions in outer space as you possibly can. High vacuum, very low temperature. Uh, the casing of a spore is, is one of the most electron-dense organic materials in nature. So electron-dense that it approximates a metal. Well, global currents can form on the quasi-metallic surface of an airborne spore, and they act as a further uh, repellent for hard radiation. So, and, you know, percolating through the galaxy at an ordinary rate typical of stellar material, a, a mushroom species could percolate from one side of the galaxy to the other in under 400,000 years. Well, that's lightning speed uh, compared to the size and age of the universe. If we were to gain the power to design ourselves, I think after a whole bunch of, uh, of uh, you know, Madonna and Robert Redford clones, we would probably move on to becoming something very much like a mushroom. It's, you know, mild, it's non-invasive, it's at the bottom of the food chain, it's virtually immortal, it's laden with neurotransmitters, and it's living in the imagination.